Hello everyone, I'm Charlie Tolhurst um, and welcome to a short video. Just want to give you a quick update on what's happening from tomorrow. Um, all travel corridors across England will be closing. You must, um, if you come from the UK tomorrow, you must self-isolate for 10 days. And you must also show a negative COVID test um, 72 hours before you travel out from another country. And also... Um, you must um, self-isolate once you arrive here for 10 days. This is to keep new variants of the disease out of the UK. And I have to say to the government, we really need to strengthen our border controls. This is very, very important. The scenes I saw the other day of illegal migrants coming over from the English Channel in Kent really annoyed me, actually. There was people arriving in vans, people arriving in coaches 10 or 20 pack deep in these vans it's horrendous guys this is a not the sort of scenes i want to be seeing the crisis in dover is really getting worse we're pretty patel please strengthen our borders my friend P pretty patel the home secretary got to get a grip on these cri this crisis right now at our borders our borders have got to be stronger i'm not being rude we need to stop letting migrants across this country across the channel into our country this is not right and i want to stress right now that the vaccine is working right now we are trying to vaccinate as many people can but we've got to stop imported cases of the disease coming in last year the government let in 18.3 million people from around the world into this country with no temperature checks no nothing and let this virus spread and that was the time Lombardy in Italy declared a state of emergency and Italy locked down the whole north of the country. Then eventually, a few days later, locked down the whole country. I don't get it. I mean, the British government have got to get a grip on this crisis right now. This was one of the biggest issues. It should have happened last year, the travel corridor. We should have had much stronger border controls last year. We probably wouldn't have been in some sort of lockdown like we are now. But it's because of the government's incompetence the reason why we're in this position. And sadly, unfortunately, we see the scenes in hospitals where the NHS are really struggling to cope. And many of them are sick and tired of working long shifts and they just know how much excruciating pain they're all in. So thank goodness the government have now strengthened the quarantine rules, but it come too late. And I'm sure there's going to be a price to pay once people try and stop um, beating these new rules um, when they come into force tomorrow. So it's vitally important that the government get a grip on this crisis. As for the aviation industry, we need to save the aviation industry. And also, um, there needs to be a lot more financial support for this sector to stop airlines going under. And some airports are really going to struggle to get through these next few difficult times as well. I understand the aviation industry is really badly affected by the pandemic, but at the same time, we need stronger measures at our airports and at our borders to protect us from new variants of COVID-19 coming into our country. So, yeah, it is a very, very important issue. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye.